Good evening and welcome to Compline Prayers this evening. Um, with this being Teacher Appreciation Week, um, I want to take the opportunity to thank the educators and administrators among us. Uh, particularly this year that so many teachers have um, found themselves doing so many things that they were not expecting to be doing um, at the beginning of the school year, certainly ending the year um, online, many teachers were. Um, I, I have to give a shout out to teachers because throughout my lifetime, teachers have been some of the most influential and important people in my life. Um, they're people who have believed in me and seen potential in me where I would have seen none and encouraged me and fostered a lifelong sense of learning for me. And I am eternally indebted and grateful to teachers who have been part of my existence. And so as we stop to pray this night, I want to uh, stop to pray for our teachers. And um, this is the prayer that we sent out to educators in our own parish family. We share this one with you. We thank you, God, for the gift of educators to whom you have given great gifts for shaping the minds and lives of students. We ask you to continue to give them strength, wisdom, creativity, compassion, and courage to meet the challenges of these days. Bless them in all of their endeavors and help them always to turn to you for peace and comfort in the moments that they feel overwhelmed or despairing. Amen. And Blessings to all of the teachers among us. We now turn to our Compline prayers for the evening. So I invite you, if you have a Book of Common Prayer, to join us on page 127 or otherwise to pull up BCP online so that you may join us there as we pray this evening. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue on page 129 with Psalm 91 again, dedicated to the teachers and administrators and professors among us. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Continuing on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Blessings to you. May you rest well this night. <laughs>